Can you imagine if Bernie Sanders won, like Obama, aged 10 years, the first four years he was in the office, Bernie Sanders would just disintegrate. That is true. He would end up end the election as a corpse. He would look <laughs> like a ghoul from fellow out. But more importantly, if Bernie Sanders had won the election, I would imagine that rather than this, the state of the internet today, where we have this massive outcry of very, very <laughs> upset people, and then all the silent people in the background being utterly joyful that they shoved those crybabies and kicked them in the nuts several times. But, Stomp but, them in the nuts. Stomp them in the nuts. I, I'd imagine if Bernie won today, everyone would be like, oh, that's pretty cool. Bernie's a nice guy. <laughs> well, oh. there was an outcry because a very horrible thing happened. And it, it took masses of people out into the streets. Because mm -hmm. the white guy won. No, it was because Toblerone changed shape of their chocolate. Mm -hmm. This this is fucking terrible. No, they yeah. only changed it in the UK. Yeah, and that's all because of Brexit. And Brexit is on the same yeah, level as, as, as Trump becoming the president. So it's all connected. Well, Illuminati confirmed. I mean, Toblerone's are triangles, and they're still triangles, are they? Not really. They've, oh. they, they used to be a big pyramid shape, and now mm. they've kind of cut off the side of a pyramid vertically to reduce the amount of chocolate, which Basically is the most horrendous people. thing I've ever seen a chocolate bar company do to their own product. <laughs> but now they're more like triangles, a triangle Illuminati confirmed. Yes, indeed. So yeah, Nothing welcome, this welcome to yet another episode of Radio Rothingham, the world's least professional podcast on the internet, here to bring you the news that we got well, the least professional maybe, president maybe even elect, even you know, less professional podcast, but literally nobody listens to that, so we have no idea, like it, it doesn't even get uploaded, somebody's oh, yeah. just making a podcast, and, and they, they just forget to upload it. Yes. Isn't that just private Skype calls? No. It's like a um, live stream, but you forget to stream. So it's just some, some person just drawing on their computer. All around um, the entire alone. night. Yes. And, and they're not even talking to anyone. They're just sitting there, just drawing by themselves. I've seen a few live streams like that, actually. It's kind of sad. You connect to it, and you're like, there's this guy just drawing alone with nobody watching. You just hear the slow scratch of a stylus. Not even like, listening oh. to music. Exactly. And you're like, oh, wow, this is, this is just sad. And then you leave. Yeah, I mean, it's one thing that you're just sitting there by yourself. I mean, that's completely understandable. Um, but not even listening to music or watching movies or doing something other than just sitting there in that, in that in silence. The dark, but, illuminated only by the light from the... Here's the thing. Tex Avery, a head animator at Warner, wasn't it? He was like... He, he, he went into the animation department and he was all there scribbling his arts and then an intern went up to him and he said to Tex, Tex, what... what how, how can you draw for hours on end without listening to music or any kind of distraction or anything like that? And Tex was like, I don't have enough brain power to be listening to music and putting my full effort into my drawings at the same time. Yeah, I've, I've seen that one and I can't really say that I agree. <laughs> because there's plenty of very amazing artists that can do just fine. Obviously, they are not putting their full effort into it. Imagine if they did not listen to music, if they put actual full effort into it. Like, this uh, isn't even my final form. Artists, imagine if you actually drew without the distraction of us and all this music. Mm. You might actually draw something good once. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Exactly. So I'll, I'll, yeah. I'm actually doing the world a favor. I mean, otherwise, it, I would just be, you know, playing on God mode. That that's just. You you might even get better than Rob Liefeld. I don't I don't even know who that is. But that's a comic book icon. Are they are they just as bad as um? Uh, let's see. 
Okay, he so likes what pouches? He just likes feet. Oh, the the field guy. Yeah. Yeah, but but at least he's not as bad as. Uh, um, this Andrew is, Dobson. Yeah, I was gonna say that Andrew Dobson. Yeah, Rob Liefeld is a legend. Basically, compared to Andrew Dobson, Rob Liefeld is Tex Avery. <laughs> You heard it here on Radio Rottingham. I hope you are listening, Dobson, you little it's shit. Exclusive. No, he's they not. Send him a link with a timestamp. He, he probably already has, has us blocked somehow. Though I don't think his don't power level is. I don't think his power level is quite on on the level of. Um, Surprisingly enough, he's not on Tumblr. He's not. I, what, whatever you do, do not name your account Giraffe. Giraffe. Okay. Yes, giraffes trigger him. Oh, so name all the accounts giraffes. Yes. See, there was a, a script that made a layer on any page on the internet and you could draw on it. And it just so happens that people started doing graffiti on his page and there was a lot of giraffes involved and he couldn't quite possibly keep up in deleting them all. Yeah, I so know that there is an, there is a page that lets you do gra uh, graffiti on any yes, web page, but, but with, oh, this was a script on the page. Yeah, it was a script, but the, you know, oh. it's only for those that specifically access that script. So yes, yes. Somebody told him, and he got the script and saw all the giraffes. So he deleted the giraffes. And ever since then, everybody's doing giraffes because it's like Harambe, but not as known. Mm -hmm. Well, it's a very particular targeted meme, evidently. <laughs> also, yeah, fifteen, also, also, fifteen thousand people in the United States were like, "Lol, I'll, I'll just vote on Harambe." Why not? And, to be fair, he was the most deserving candidate. Mm -hmm. Well, that is true. Can you imagine what the world would be like if Harambe was still alive? It would be but, exactly the same to me. I, I, I don't know, like... What, what, what the system so told you, Artix? When you're given the option between a war criminal and a grabs by the pussy... <laughs> I, I, I think I should grab by the pussy. Well, for one, I don't have a pussy, so I'm at no, no risk. But the pure, innocent gorilla would still be the best candidate. I, I just think it, it, the entire US election campaign this year has been hilarious and it, it has ended in the only way it could possibly have ended. <laughs> yes. The only right way it could have in ended. In the best way, in, in the best thing that happened to memes the past decade. Uh, apparently, Bandy. some of the WikiLeaks emails said that Hillary's party, the Democratic National Party, had pushed Republicans to push a candidate so utterly awful that they couldn't possibly lose to it. <laughs> and look at that! how that turned out. Yeah, because Hillary turned out to be even more awful. That, that, is, that is very telling. When, when you're... When you're when your platform puts the worst possible opponent in existence <laughs> up against you, and, and the you best lose. you can do. <laughs> did you have somebody you... geometrically more horrible. Did you, however, know who did not expect Donald Trump to win? The guys from South Park. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they apparently know. they they were so convinced that. Hilly was gonna win that they didn't even bother making an episode or a script yes. just in so case. They had to remake hastily, that episode. They hastily edited the episode so that yes, Trump or in this case Mr. Garrison, since in the South Park universe Hillary Clinton was running against Mr. Garrison, so that they hastily edited the episode to, so that Mr. Garrison won. But the episode's entire plot was built around Hillary Clinton winning and so with Clinton losing the episode's plot makes no sense like suddenly Hillary has this master plan that she's going to destroy all men because of how much shit Bill Clinton put her through 
so that she's now going to take revenge against all men in the world, only she doesn't have any power. It, it's pretty obvious from the episode that yes, she's now president, she can do anything, but no, she's not. Except she can. She has power. So why should we? Why should we be afraid of her? You have no power here. Also, it wasn't just health Park, it was also newspapers. I think it was Newspeak, I'm not entirely sure. There was one Let's newspaper do... that, that Yes, released... it was a newspaper that they prepared both issues with Hillary and with Trump. But they decided, ah, oh, fuck it, and sent only the issues with Hillary. And the Hillary O's part of it was that some of the retailers actually started selling the newspaper. That, that is the best take. Exactly. Then, of course, Hillary did not in fact win. <laughs> so they hastily pulled those issues back also... and, and issued the correct ones. And the issues that are that, that have been sold are now like the biggest reality of this year. One of the issues was uh, selling for twelve thousand dollars on eBay. <laughs> and another one who did not expect this to happen was Marvel. Because in recent <laughs> years, Marvel Comics has become extremely SJW, and they already prepared an entire plot line about Hillary becoming president, about how awesome it is and all, and nope, no, not they, gonna happen. They all did that the same thing in Supergirl. Supergirl, I'm not sure if Supergirl did it, but I know that they did it in the Avengers? No, 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 not Avengers. Guardians? Not sure how the title is called. Yeah. But basically one of the titles they are currently pushing because all of the characters are not white in that particular <laughs> comic. So Marvel is very... Uh, all all the shades of not white. <laughs> the Marvel is pushing that title very hard despite the fact that nobody is reading it. No, here's here's the greatest thing actually. In, in the last episode of Supergirl, they did an episode that was based. Episode. I thought you were talking about the comic. No, no, the the TV show. They did an episode that was based about uh, journalistic bias and integrity, but they mm -hmm. started they started the episode with Supergirl making a joke about, oh my God, how could um, how could the other guy have ever won against her? in the presidential election. I was like, well, you just did an episode about journalistic bias, but you also showed your own bias in the episode. <laughs> Good job! Good job at making a message. I wouldn't have it any other way. Yeah, I'm not watching Supergirl. I'm basically not watching any of, their, of the DC live-action shows right now. Uh, or the uh, animated all, I, I'd watch them. They're okay. Just, you know, treat it like any other media. Expect to be retarded all the time. Basically. Well, yeah, but there are various types of retarded. There are funny retarded, and then there are just cringe inducing retarded. And then are those people who are so retarded that when it happens that they don't elect the elect, uh, elect person they were voting for, they just go to the streets and start burning American flags. Because why not? Yeah, I mean when Derek democracy. Trump, uh, yes. I mean the, the freaking KKK has shown much more grace when Barack Obama was elected. The freaking yeah. KKK was more mature about a black guy getting elected than these people are about an orange guy getting elected. <laughs> Uh, well, to be fair, actually, more people have elect have elected Hillary. I think it's just this weird uh, vote, uh, well, election yeah. system. Yeah, but American like, democracy but actually, uh, Hillary is not more votes than Trump. But because of some of, America's of some election nonsense, system yeah. retarded. No, no, guys. Okay, stop, stop <laughs> jumping on that bandwagon. Because <laughs> <laughs> right, you're, you're you're completely and utterly off the mark. Uh, okay, the reason, the reason America has a weighted voting system as it does is because if it didn't, then all the big population centers, uh, like the big cities, would have a dominating vote over the rest of the country. 
which means that people who live in a city would be voting on issues that farmers had to deal with every day, but had absolutely no say because they don't have the numbers to vote against the cities. Basically, if it was in Ireland, Ireland has a population of 3 million in Dublin and then another million spread around the rest of the country. That means that if it's purely on population count, Dublin makes all the decisions for the rest of the country and the rest of the country gets no say in anything. And that's why there's a weighted voting system. It's I so that small, that. low population counties and cities and, 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 and uh, states actually get a say in the election. Yes, I wanted to expand it, but you added more rage into it. Good, <laughs> good, Jorv. But yeah. Yes. Well, as as one as one tweet that I saw summed it up. Turns out that jobs are more important for people than Beyonce and Jay Z. Yeah. Oh, by the way, did you guys see the? Uh, I don't speech even know by... who Jay Z is actually. Did, did you guys see the speech by um, what's her face, uh, Madonna? I think. Uh, Not Madonna. Madonna. Uh, Lady Gaga. No. Lady Gaga. No, but I've seen a lot of tweets by Cher and she's unable to turn caps lock off. <laughs> Lady Gaga basically decided it was a good idea to go get onto stage during during, during a big um, Hillary Cl um, Clinton rally, dressed up as a Nazi, <laughs> basically. <laughs> well, that's pretty good. Cool. Why not? I mean, they're like, we're the good guys. Says the lady with, with the freaking red band around her arm and... Wasn't that a bit of a commentary? Probably. It's supposed to be, but the hilarious thing is that the left are the ones acting like Nazis right now and yeah. refusing to accept a dem democratically elected leader. The, the thing with Lady Gaga is you are never sure what she's trying to come up Yeah. Well, you know, most dictators were democ democratically elected. <laughs> also, Trump has a big it's, fascination it's with Hitler's speeches. In Greece, there isn't any nice politician stuff. these days. I mean, well, if you're not studying Hitler's speeches and looking at how one man managed to turn a nation against the rest of the world and make them think they were right, then I, I think you're, you're failing at some basic social manipulation tactics. <laughs> I mean, right there. That that's some that's some good material to study, if you want to learn how to sway people. You know what they used to do in ancient Greece? They had the democracy and and stuff and shit like that. Mm -hmm. People mm -hmm. usually turn back to Greece to be like, hey, they had democracy, blah blah blah, blah. because they are salty about Brexit. But what they don't tell you is that when there was a war, for example, because Greece was a absolute clusterfuck of city-states they were just like okay it's war we need to act swiftly fuck this democracy and they elected one guy who had it to get enough to lead them in the war he was called the office of that was called a tyrant well then war was over and they were like okay we are fed up with you and him but the process of getting him into power was democratic speaking of which the earlier statement about studying Hitler to properly manipulate masses. I actually recently attended an exhibition here in, in, in Bratislava about old World War II propaganda, mostly oh, stuff that was mostly Nazi propaganda that was produced over here in Slovakia, seeing how for a time we were a puppet state of the of Nazi Germany before we overthrew them and all that. And yeah, I don't think. Your your, your uh, ten government was like okay, Czechoslovakia is getting uh, raped. Better split. <laughs> well, yeah, and basically, so basically, I after seeing a lot of the propagandas, I noticed that a lot of them are extremely similar to what the Western progressive media are doing, like the exact same step, the exact same. Uh, how do you call it, uh, not strategy, sentiment, or the exact same, basically it's the same methods. Hmm. It's the same rhetoric, yeah, rhetoric. Yes, well, what they are using right now is, is basically what communists used, and their propaganda is surprisingly similar to fascist, for some reason. 
No, at least the leftists failed with their propaganda campaign of just calling their opponent horrible names for for what? Hey, that, that's, only, that, that's only half of their propaganda. The other half was that Hillary Clinton has a vagina. Mm -hmm. Oh there yeah, yeah. A very good video. Some, I think, some British journalist went on a rant why Trump won, and this is basically the reason he put reasons he put for Trump winning. That that basically the left has turned like the left is now only throwing insults and uh, doesn't bother to, doesn't bother to engage in discussion and they have be, they have become only about name calling and nothing else well, why, why would they go into a discussion that would require them to actually have something to discuss <laughs> They, they don't. don't need to discuss things. He's a white male. He's obviously the enemy. Why would and anyone vote for that? that? And that's By the way, he won. Hillary, did, did, I, did I tell you that Hillary has a vagina? There's never been a vagina in the president chair. I'm I mean, I mean sure last that. term we had a black guy in the office. Like a woman now. I am that's, how, that's how we choose sure. a president. I am pretty damn sure that when Kennedy was president, there were plenty of vaginas on the presidential seat. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, you can kind of say the same thing about Clinton. No, they were under the seat of Clinton. Uh... Yeah, they were under the table. <laughs> <laughs> under the counter vaginas. Yeah, but you know, at least uh, at least Kennedy did really get it up, though. He got it all the way up to the moon. <laughs> This is true, and not false. Oh, come on, guys. Joke on that bad. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, nothing else happened this week. Let's just wrap it up. Yeah, okay. This, this is the end of this episode. Bye. No, no, really. Uh, the, the, well, the, literally, the only thing that happened is that God Emperor Trump won. They're, that is the biggest news, but apparently more news from England about how they're still not Brexiting. Yep. The, <laughs> apparently they are they're really trying to postpone this fucker indefinitely, indefinitely. and yes. they're like, yeah, the the fucking you know, curse, you know uh, the, 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 the British people have voted and uh, but, but you know we uh, but they voted wrong they, they, you know, I'm not sure if they did the right thing so we're Let's going to have a nice little vote in in the Parliament and 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 maybe yes. just maybe you know you might actually call this off we don't know but you know yeah they that's, are not, that's not that's not that's not you know Get get. Let's not rush ourselves, okay? Let's hmm. you know, well, well, take this 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 with a nice pace, see, quietly. And and that that's why I like Theresa May because she got the leadership of the party after Cameron. And and, and she has a vagina. Don't forget that. And she has a vagina, obviously, but it wasn't her idea. But no, since she did happened, steal the idea, it's it's a thing. Brexit is a thing now. Deal with it. She dealt with it in the best way possible, that is. It's a thing that people want it, and she's going to do that. Like, that's admirable for a politician to do this. Mm -hmm. Especially in but, the current year. Yes, <laughs> it, it's admirable for a politician to do stuff that people tell them to. My God. The, the most hilarious thing is that, that, that the, the anti-Brexiters are being like, it's, it's not legal to Brexit. I was like, how, how is it not legal to act on a democratic mandate? That, 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 that's the definition of democracy. Because they don't agree with it. Only stuff they agree with is legal. Well, obviously, only the correct stuff is legal. More than half of your country agrees that it's legal. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's what democracy means. Based on now, the, what on the, more than half no, the country says Amber, is the real way. No, democracy. That's the tyranny of the majority. You're right, it is. That's why Hillary didn't win. <laughs> <laughs> because the fucking majority had more people saying stuff. <laughs> but according to the criteria that was set out by the Brexit vote, the Brexit vote won. And now you can be like, yeah, but in hindsight, we don't really like the rules. But 
you know before the whole election thing happened ev everyone was like yeah whoever wins you know but I don't I even like brexiting I freaking love, by the way, how half of Tumblr is on Suicide Watch right now. Yes. It of is both hilarious nice. and pathetic at the same time. You're right. They are terrified that England is going to move and go to America, which is why they're afraid of British suicide. <laughs> That's what Brexit means, right? Yeah. Yes. England uh, is going to sell the ocean and... Well, we have we Talk haven't at, heard at some at Newfoundland. Yeah, we, we haven't gap. heard from Esther in a while. Is is where is the England right now? Where, where, uh, where is the UK? I, uh, I guess it should be somewhere in Australia. Trump um, is probably boarding right now. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah, they gotta you know since they're they're an independent country now, they they do need to keep up relations. I mean, yeah, Russia's way ahead of them. I mean. <laughs> Putin is like, hey, my, uh, hey, my homie, did, um, let's discuss uh, trade. Let's discuss. Can you imagine how happy Putin is that somebody finally is going to talk to him for a while? Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's yeah, actually that... one of the good things to come out of Trump. And everybody is just shooting down his fighters and <laughs> he just wants to talk. Well, that, that was one thing that, that was actually a major issue that could have affected us all, Hillary, I think, was much more likely to start a war with, with, with Russia exactly. than Trump is. I mean, uh, Hillary, I mean, Hillary outright said that she, want, she wanted to force Rus Russian troops out of Syria. Yeah, and which, there is which no meant no-fly zones, and then you had a Russian fighter, and somebody shoots it down, and then you have war. Yeah. I, I don't think she would be against it. I mean, she was behind Libya, and I think she proposed the thing that happened in Iraq. I'm not sure right now if that was there. Supposedly, Probably. she made weapons deals with uh, undefinable groups of people in the Middle East, so only uh, God knows. ISIS. Most likely ISIS, actually. Yeah, I think I think of, of the two politicians that were up for election, the one that was more likely to bring us to World War Three is probably Hillary Clinton. At least if Trump nukes something, you know that, that he just did it because he is bored. Yeah, probably. But, is, but vagina. No reason. <laughs> like, what is this country? It, it has funny car. Let's nuke it. <laughs> I mean, I, I I saw a bunch of commercials that he starred in in movies. But yeah, no, but yeah now, now that this whole action is over... Uh, I and do get the impression that yes. that things Sorry. could have been a lot more interesting in if the DNC didn't have its head up its own ass and didn't, you know, think, oh yeah, we're just you know gonna rig the elections, we're just gonna you know put Clinton there, and we're just gonna run this entire campaign, not on you know meritocrat merit, but you know just vagina. That's, uh, I, I love people keep saying um, Trump is unqualified to be the American president because do you know what the uh, requirements to be an American president are under the U.S. Constitution? Be, be older, be, be older than thirty-five, and be a U.S. citizen. So yes, I I don't e I don't even qualify for president. Well, I think just imagine actually, actually, Trump is twice qualified because he's seventy. <laughs> He could be two presidents. He could be his own vice president instead of Pence. Yeah, let, let's do it now because I, I honestly don't like Pence. So let's just make him, you know, also the vice president. Let's do it. Let's, you know, let's do what they're doing right now. And start My God, the, uh, no, no. Let's make him his own vice president and make a new function. The vice president. Twice or thrice. Also, vice we got Nestra with us. Hi, Nestra. What's Hi, Hello. Hi. Okay. How are you? I'm tired. Okay. You you are also very happy that Trump won, right? Because yes. he is the best Astra, candidate. Did did you bow down to our god and emperor, Trump? Oh, yeah. Trump is the best waifu. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so serious. There is a gift saying that. Astra, are, 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 are you just giving in to our group think, or do you actually, because I, I think I saw you say things on Skype that, that it would counter what you just admitted to. Yes. Is that yes or no? Yes. 
Okay. okay. I'm calling it now. It's a, a, a live, live in the awesome dome. It's Astra versus Trump. Duking it out. Astra. And, and you know, since since we set up Astra to be Frau Astra of the, the, um, the German English okay. Reich. Uh, Frau, yeah, that's, Frau Strastan. Hmm? Mm -hmm. all, all hail Frau Astra of the. Um, Anglo-Germanic Reich. Thank you. Thank it's you. gonna be. I will do my best to be in the Supreme. Why Germanic? I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean. If if you can't beat them, join them. So just yeah, why you not? know, yeah. instead of having Merkel as the German counselor, just you know, <laughs> become the German kill. counselor. Yeah, just kill become two birds with one one stone, and just you know, if if. Your, your, like if the European German. Union is such a failure, just go all out and just merge the UK and Germany together. France out, may join, in. maybe, if they feel like it. I mean, if, if they elect Le Pen, well, they can just do their own little thing in France. You know, Liberate who knows? the shit out of Germany. Liberate them. Mm -hmm. So you don't even need a Brexit because you'd be in the... the, 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 the Germo Anglo um, Reich, and it will be See, awesome. I, I, I know Germany. I understand Germany. It's right next to our country. I even talk to people from Germany. And I think what would really help them is a wall. Wall between. Um, On their border. I mean, which we... one? Do, do you want to keep the Vikings out? Because that's a real problem. In All Europe around right the border. I mean, that there's immigrants in Sweden, there's immigrants in France. Obviously, the Europe is the problem. Just just make a wall between Germany and Europe. I mean, the, the Visegrad four countries already did it, and it works. It yes. freaking works. It's surprising how a fence full of barbed wire with 3,000 armed people keeps immigrants out. I don't it, know is, why. it is terrible that a machine gun is effective at de deterring people who don't have machine guns. <laughs> yes, well, the, the fence is to deter them from running in there, don't and worry. if they if want they... to climb the fence, well, then there's the guns. Do not worry. If they came in, they would soon get machine guns and <laughs> bombs. Lots of and lots of bombs. But 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 seriously, though, no. we, we have a very homogenous uh, feeling here where we all, all all like the the big orange turnip who just got elected <laughs> president. But, but I, I, I I honestly I want to hear the perspective of someone who doesn't like Trump. Yeah, back go. Hi, I'm a Trump. Yes, you. I I heard you don't you don't like God Emperor Trump. Uh, because, but I get the impression that you have a mostly kind of positive reception of the election of him. Meanwhile, I think, like, the people, uh, well, okay, compared to the other people, the people that he wants to put into uh, p political positions, of course, are lobbyists, but yeah, what's the difference to other people? The only difference is basically that he's just fu uh, fucking blatant about us. He's just basically doing, oh, look, look, look at those co corporate shills, look at all those people, they will just change all the laws that corporations can have, all the same. Especially the corporation that he owns. Well, yeah, Trump, that's the point. That yeah. And also he said he's gonna change the tax, uh, uh, how do you say, the tax uh, uh, laws and everything, and uh, now it uh, comes out that Basically, all the people that don't have a lot of that don't have a lot of money, basically the poor people like single moms and uh, people that have multiple children, that those uh, families are getting screwed over. They would always get screwed over. Yeah, but even more. Has he actually brought any? Well, he's not actually president yet, but <laughs> but has yeah, has he has has Trump himself said that he's changing? The laws are punished for because his his campaign was also based on the notion that he was going to tr close a bunch of the tax loopholes that the, the corporations were already exploiting. In fact, in one of his speeches, he said, "I know these loopholes exist because I exploit them." Indeed. And, and do you really think that he will? He got elected. 
for the president, re representing the fucking country. Can't hear anything, you were close to the polls. I am that's what that And he also promised to undo all the things that Obama did. So basically, yeah, Obama, Obama yeah, is, yeah, yeah, good luck like with that. He will, I personally think he will close the loopholes that already exist so mm -hmm. that uh, his competition can't abuse them. But he will oh. close two loopholes that only his corporations will know about. Well, obviously, he's going so to close the... He's going to close the, the known loopholes, not the ones that he didn't mention. Yeah. <laughs> so he's going to abuse them to the point where, okay, I'm tired of abusing them, then he will close them. No, no, no. He's going to close those that people know about. Okay. And, and, and the secret ones, he'll keep those for himself. Uh -huh. ah. It's basically and one big hack on the entire economy. Yeah, I mean, everyone's just like, gonna like, be like, like, like the secret of that orange ten. <laughs> apparently, there's a thing in, in when when you're the president of the states that you apparently cannot own or operate a business. Yep. Which which sounds like it could be a problem for Mr. Trump. Yeah, he's, he's not like really because other. not really because those it would be like oh suddenly my wife owns the corporation or something. Yeah. I know this because basically the, the, I know this because basically the wife of our senior CEO basically officially owns the company crown, so she rents all the buildings, all the halls to the to the actual company because she owns the buildings and the company is only renting them. Yes. And the but... company is owned by her husband. How, how, how else do you want to do that? Are you like, okay, I'm a president now. Let's fuck all this rich stuff off. Hey, you hobo. Here, <laughs> mega corporation. You hobo. Hotel. That hey, would, would, you, that would, would be you like awesome. a skyscraper in the middle of New York? That what would be the most it? hilarious thing, though. <laughs> that, that And it would be great to be public. It's never going to happen. But if he did, it would be hilarious as shit. Like... He just goes into downtown New York and he finds a random hub which is like, hey, here, have, have a mega corporation. And then he's like, lol, this, this hobo that has even less experience running a business than I have experience <laughs> running as president is, is now going to run this, this corporation. It's going to be fucking great. And the next day it's just, you know, everyone's just sitting on the curb of a, of a street just drinking vodka all day long. So on the next season of The Apprentice, when someone goes in to get interviewed, will they be like, well, Mr. President Trump, here's my idea. <laughs> that would be pretty, pretty bizarre. I hope so. I don't think they make that show anymore. No. I, well, I think they do, but without Trump, obviously. <clears throat> Oh. I'm, just, I'm just trying to imagine a reality TV show with the active president of the United States as a star. <laughs> oh, that would be actually pretty awesome. Well, technically, he is. He, he's had his own TV show, which, um, what was it? Uh, the Apprentice, Apprentice. I just mentioned yeah. it. Yeah. 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 Well, he's he's just going to use his... <laughs> Did you know that he got one of the uh, not awards for divorced acting? For a movie where he played himself. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, that it's like the worst supporting role goes to Donald <laughs> Trump for for the role of Donald Trump. Good job. Honestly, Jordan. that really only means that he's going to be a good president because nobody, because everyone will be able to tell when he's lying. <laughs> <laughs> I think a, a lot of the reason he got elected at all was purely because the the other side's campaign was based entirely on just hateful slander. Do you know, by the way, what Hillary's campaign reminded me of? Of the advertising campaign for the for the Ghostbusters reboot. Huh? Mm -hmm. well, yeah. exact same type of shit. And the advertising campaign for Apple Macs versus PCs. <laughs> yes. You mean those back in the early 2000s where you're like, hey, I'm a, I'm a smart hipster dude and I, and I, I use Mac, it's so simple. And oh, it's like, hi, I'm a PC. Hi, I'm a Mac. 
you idiot. Both of those are computers. <laughs> mm-hmm. That too. Uh, I I love the parodies of those ads where they had like, oh, I'm a Mac, I'm a PC, and the Mac was like, oh shit, my webcam broke, and the PC was like, oh shit, my webcam broke, and the Mac was like, <laughs> fuck, I have to go back to the factory. And the PC was like, well, I can just get another webcam. <laughs> <laughs> And that, my children, is why Macs suck, and no one should be using them. Dun, dun, dun. And that also, is why Donald Trump won the <laughs> Yes. Yeah, also, because you know Macintosh. Now, now, okay, so, so instead of going to change.org and, and sign a petition to, mm -hmm. to basically fuck over the Electoral College, just, just get rid of Apple, dude, now. So that they are going to make a petition on change.org to vote again? No. Basically oh, no, what they're doing... Already have. They've, they've they, made that petition like 12 times already. Ah. Uh, so they are going to vote again? No, no. What they're... And, yeah. and, and, and then Trump wins again? No, dude, dude, dude. They're going dude, to vote dude, again? Dude, 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 Until Hillary dude, wins? Dude, I mean, it, dude, it works like that in dude, European dude, Union, so it must dude, be legit, right? Dude, 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 dude. This is... Dude, 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 <laughs> anyway, 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 this is, this is what they want on the change.org, right? Shut up. <laughs> Aww. So, they, they want to go to change.org and, and tell the, the electoral core, the, the college, like, okay, we know that these people voted for Trump, right? Well, I, I want you to go against that vote and just just vote for Hillary. You know, just 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 go with 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 you know Hillary. Just just ignore yeah, the, the, the the sad part the, is those people are stupid enough to actually try it. You know what I found pretty funny? All those grand people that were shocked. How is this even possible? And those that moved to Canada so quickly that they crashed their side. Uh, yes, they actually crashed Canada's immigration side, which was mm -hmm. also great. Isn't that something that happens every election uh, cycle? I, 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 I do remember Trump, the Trump, during... Trump truly did make America great. Well, I, I'd like <laughs> to point that out. Minutes. Oh, go ahead. They, they didn't crash the Mexican immigration website. Ah. No one wants to go there. But why? Not not they like Mexicans so much. Well, they keep saying, you know, that they want to support all the illegal immigrants. Yes, and now I forgot what I was about to say. Good oh God. job. Yeah, good, good job. No, at least, you know, I do remember that it turned out that Fortune was right. <laughs> Fortune is now gloating. <laughs> Fortune is work. gloating in the best possible way because their meme magic worked. Yeah. And it actually turns out that uh, provided nobody shoots him, when Trump enters the office, he's going to be 70 years, 7 months, and 7 days old. Meme magic. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Memes work. But I, want, I want Trump to make, make his inauguration speech wearing a Make, a make America Great Again hat and a Pepe the Frog mask. <laughs> that would be awesome. Oh, God. That, no, no, no. That... You know what? He should be subtle. He should simply have a frog plushie. <laughs> Not I, even I, a plushie, just a frog plushie. Or, or, or just like a brooch. <laughs> just a pepper the frog I, brooch. I, I freaking love the theme song that Trump chose for himself. Which is? Because yes. when he had his speech after they announced that he won, he played a Rolling Stones song. That song is you can't always get what you want <laughs> and the chorus is you can't always get what you want but if you try some time you might find you get exactly what you need <laughs> too deep That's for just... me oh god the guy is a genius <laughs> is he trying uh, uh, to imply it in okay okay ben boy, what is it have you have you seen the, the response videos to the Trump election that some of our our favorite left wingers have brought out? Uh, yes, like Lacey Green and Anita Sarkeesian and Lena Dundum. Not 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 those. By the way, I'm, but I'm I saw... proudly, By the way, I'm proudly announcing I 
I blocked Anita Sarkeesian on, on Tumblr. Good job. Okay. So what does it uh, achieve exactly? <laughs> that she can't block me. And <laughs> I personally announced to her that I am blocking her. Before oh. she could even reply. Ha ha ha! Oh my shit. god. You are so brave. Checkmate, <laughs> atheist. Yeah, Fuck life. Do, do, do. I think I, I did actually get something about Lena Dunham. She threatened that she's going to move to Canada. Then she said that, that she's really going to move to Canada. She knows that people say this every election, but she is really going to move to Canada. And when Trump was, you know, voted and won, she went silent for eight hours. And, and people... is she moving to Canada? <laughs> of course probably, not. Probably not, but you know, people are starting to... Oh, wonder. and by the way, did you know they are already blaming Gamergate for Trump winning? That was oh, great, so Gamergate's why Trump won. <laughs> yes, I'm, I'm sure all gamers are dead and dead people can vote in America. Hmm? Well, we, we, we could have known that, you know, that gamers are so good at voting. I mean, <laughs> it's almost as if it's a requirement it's to be not dead. Oh, 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 but the, the best thing it's and the most hor oh. horrific, terrible thing to happen I also yes. is, is all the stupid hoax attacks that have been popping up. People claiming that, that Trump supporters are going out and beating people on the street for being gay or Muslim. In reality, it's actually Hillary supporters who are going in the street and beating up random people for being white. Yeah, actually they, they are. They shouldn't have been white. They're, they're creating yeah. riots across California. Yeah, I got it for places. Caesar, Gamergate will never be dead. It will live on inside all of us. Why would you need rats in California? Yeah. Shit's already on fire there. They're, they're just trying to make sure that the forest fires don't stop spreading. Ah. The, that drought just keeps going, and as if they actually burn down every city, people will just stop living there and they won't have to worry about the drought anymore. No, oh, they just want to help the trees. Yeah, they're just trying to move it along. You know, natural mm. immigration. Yes. It's, it's, it's all part <laughs> of the natural cycle. <laughs> yep. Uh, I, I remember where I was, uh, what I wanted to mention. The people who cried and were chattering that they are going to catch themselves. Um, they were very angry at the people who voted Harambe or Gary Johnson. Because, mm -hmm. you know, they didn't vote for Hillary. And then oh. Hillary lost by like 3,000 votes. And those 3,000 votes went to Gary Johnson. <gasps> Yeah, because at, at, at the, this scale, that would have made a difference. Yes. And also, well, those Gary Johnson voters would definitely, you yeah. know, they would definitely vote for Hillary. Like Honestly, these I super right wing yes. um, obviously, libertarians obviously they, would obviously vote liberal. They wanted to vote for yeah, Trump. Liberty, uh, Hillary, <laughs> obviously. But, you know, since they are libertarians, all like Gary Johnson, they kind of mistook the bullet points and, you know, circled the wrong candidate and, yeah, it just happened. Well, no, obviously they, they voted wrong. And I, I just, I, I just love the notion that people are spitting out there as like, well, yo, I know you don't like either of them, but vote for the lesser evil, which is Hillary. I'm like, Trump okay. was the lesser evil, obviously. Yeah, I agree with you there. I, I, I just, I just think that whole notion is, is, is kind of Retarded. I, I think the lead evil was Harambe, but hey. Harambe was a better candidate than Clinton. Yes, but they are discriminating against poor Harambe. I, mean, I would much rather have them exhumate Harambe's <laughs> rotten corpse and put it into the Oval Office than having freaking Hillary there. But the, the uh, thing uh, is, uh, it really shows that the, the American the system's broken. That they only had they only the the media and and the whole election only presented two people <laughs> as being viable candidates for the for the election. But there was more. I don't even know the names of the other candidates. But wait, there's more. But there was I like do. six of them. So you had six yeah. options. You didn't have to vote for Hillary or Trump. You could have voted for those people. 
And that's what I'm, I was gonna say. If I were in America in this election cycle, I would not have voted for either Hillary or Trump. Hillary or Trump. Uh, I would probably have voted for uh, Gary Johnson just you, out of you, principle that I would not you, be voting for Trump. You could have Trump. voted for the black guy. You know, the, the, the surgeon was totally crazy. Well, but that was in the primaries, right? Oh. He, he was in the, um, he was one of the Republican nominees from what I gather. He was too crazy to get further. Aww. Hmm. Such a shame. It's a shame. Well, but I mean, but the Republicans it's, it's, even had female like, candidates so like and shit. Trump they and didn't. Pence are, are not totally crazy too. I mean, at least one of them denied uh, global warming, and the other one thinks that vaccines might cause autism. Mm -hmm. The thing is, so they keep saying America, but it's not a two-party system. It's got multiple parties. Just the other ones aren't as big. Yes. Well, that, that's that's the entire system is rigged. That that's the problem with the uh, first best opposed system that they got over there. So yes, they have multiple parties, but the system is made in such a way that just due to the way it's built, you eventually end up with two really big parties, and yeah, people just keep voting for the two big parties because they know that the yeah, smaller big. parties will never get any clout. Yes, they are voting the big parties because those big parties are people. Which is exactly and, why and, I would and have... The, and the people vote because those parties are voted by people. And those people vote because... etc. Yes, it's, it's a vicious cycle. So that's exactly why if I were an American, I would just vote third party and not care. Because I could not with good conscience vote either Hillary or, or Trump. That's exist. It's it's super sexist, I know. I'm the biggest sexist in the goddamn universe. You can quote that and then and, 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 and no can, the, the art trick twenty sixteen. Uh, I just super remember super this election we racist. have redefined rape yet again. Oh. <laughs> now now just being in a bus and saying that you would grab some white pussy is apparently <laughs> sexual assault. Well, not anymore. Now that <laughs> Trump is president. Times are gonna change. Yes. It's yes. Like a, now everyone is going to be allowed to say around a bunch of men that grabbing women by the pussy. Ex that exact. Yeah. It's a good start. That exact mm -hmm. uh, act and nothing else. Like if, yeah, if just, you alter just, the sentence just a little bit, then then you're gonna be arrested and sent to the death camps. But if you use that exact sentence, it's not totally legal. I mean, it was, you know, it was not legal before that, obviously. I still find it hilarious that they tried to use the off-handed boastful comment that was made in the privacy <laughs> of a bus as, as like, a <sighs> torpedo to sink the Trump ship. And it did yes. What are you doing in the bus in the first place? But that, well, that is exactly the sort of you know, tactics used by the it social justice types. They they like, will oh, find look. some they will find some quote sin or you know something that's problematic which can just be translated as sin. So you sinned, and, and then then they will sin. just you know hammer that shit down until you you, you know your Only reputation is. People have grown wiser, and now they see that if you are being accused of such things usually just means you are a normal human being. It, it, it's like you're well, going out to a bunch of gamers and, and saying, oh, you said you'd kill that guy when you next saw him. It's like, yeah, in in the video game <laughs> that, that we were playing where I was What's shooting him with game? bullets. <laughs> I mean, imaginary, virtual bullets, not real. Why are you taking everything out of context? God damn it. Because that's how social justice works. <sighs> Oh, also oh, here you go, you know, mansplaining with your context. <laughs> <laughs> Only men should be allowed to explain, god darn it. Just remember, video games themselves are a symptom of the hyper-masculine male patriarchy of this planet. Yeah, you can't you just look at stones or something. enough, dang it. But if you're too masculine, you're a sinner. If you are, <laughs> there is no such thing. That's crazy talk. There is no such thing as too masculine. What are you talking about? Just being male right now is too much masculine. Not anymore. 
<laughs> I mean, oh, yeah, I, right. I, forgot, I, I forgot, We can I forgot, be men again. Hey, yeah. out for January. Fix out for Harambe. <laughs> yes, I'm too happy about this. Uh, Even uh, Astra feels more manly right now, don't you? <laughs> Astra, Astra, did you draw, grow a penis the moment Trump won? <laughs> Man, uh, no need to feel ashamed. Well, obviously, now we need to start talking to Astra like he's a man, obviously. So, uh, mm -hmm. so Astra, how was the game? How yeah. was the game? Yeah, how was the game? Uh, obviously. You play. What game? The game? You know, the game. I didn't the, the big game. The sports. 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 Yeah, uh, uh, sports. Yeah, sports. <laughs> sports, sports, sports. The ball oh, yeah. game. Those, those pictures the, the of ball. the California riots. That that's great. It, it's like, oh, hey, these, the Trump won. He was going to destroy America, so we're going to get to it first. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes. Honestly, oh, no. I am glad that the SJWs are now finally showing the world their true face. Yeah, finally, they always were. They've been showing them everyone that face since the damn movement started, and just some for some reason they get a pass on it. But now finally, they are doing something that is illegal. Yeah. They've been doing. I'm pretty sure that yeah, they've been doing illegal shit like all the time, like smugly puff. Since it's the like dawn of hey, time. I just witnessed a crime. I'm gonna go and lie to the police because what could possibly go wrong genius so she was a she was a goddamn genius or sir i don't know what I don't, if she actually, was when you to think be. about it social justice warriors have been taking quite some major blows this year first off gawker lost the trial to hulk hogan and the men busters flopped at the cinemas <laughs> then the Go Rolling Stones faster. magazine was forced to publicly apologize for the fake rape accusations. Uh. And Marvel, which has gone completely SJW in the previous years, has start, began completely tanking in comic sales. And now Donald freaking Trump won the elections. They are taking one massive punch after another. But you have to remember that the, the fall of Goker had nothing to do with Gamergate. It had everything to do with Gamergate. No, no, no. They, they said that it had nothing to do with Gamergate. They're Completely unrelated. It was entirely due to exactly one thing, which was Hulkamania. Love <laughs> <laughs> you, Sports. When Hulkamania runs wild on you. It, it turns oh. out that the lawyer that was representing Hal Hogan didn't like Gawker publicly outing him as gay. I wonder why. Did you know people don't like when you go around telling, the, saying nice. that they're gay, even if it's true? <laughs> See, Cesar, all, all, the, all the comic book. A lot of comic book companies have been pushing agenda-driven comics recently, really and it's been Marvel. making all their sales suffer. Uh, Mostly just Marvel. They DC should suffer. <laughs> DC because... is apparently doing it right, as in they, they actually make interesting stories, and they, they're not really preaching about it. They're like hmm. interesting stories. What is that? Does it have a vagina? Yes. Insert on on, on on requested opinions about Israel. That's Marvel. <laughs> <laughs> That's I mean, Marvel. this is like, hey, what if we can take the Flintstones and That's you know? Juice. Oh, the Flintstones comic is awesome. I, I will I start would, reading I the Flintstones comic. I never liked the, the Flintstones until I read this comic mm. well, because it's an entirely different genre of, <laughs> of comic. Yeah, but <laughs> the original like Flintstones was like a tongue-in-cheek um, satire of. You know, modern life. In well, the, Stone Age. the modern life in the 1950s, or rather, well, 1960s. Hey, that's pretty modern. Back in the day. 
And now, have... and also the the Flintstones comic is also a satire, but a satire of present day society. Mm -hmm. I, I I haven't actually read it, but I've I've seen a few good clips from it. It's like yeah, what what do we do with money? Go buy something some something somebody else hated making. <laughs> Go buy money, wait. Well, but they had monies. They... they were using the clam. <laughs> the current exchange rate between the US dollar and clam is <laughs> none because you know it was in prehistoric times, so you can't because clams it. don't exist anymore, right? Yeah. Yeah, you can't you can no longer go to the beach and get yourself clams. It's completely impossible. Make clams great again. Yeah, we should obviously replace the uh, the US dollar with the clam. I'm I'm sure that will fix all our economic problems. It sounds very reasonable. I am mm. for that. Me too. I mean, fuck the gold standard. Let's all just switch to to clam based economy. Yes. Let's do it now. Clam standard. Um, Caesar, you're 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 apparently unaware of the <laughs> shift in Marvel somehow. But uh, okay, some of the comics that have, that have been altered to suit uh, tastes was that there was there was Squirrel Girl, which I read and it wasn't awful, but it was it was kind of dumb. Uh, then there was a <laughs> there, there was the rewriting of Tor to turn him in. Well, to have a woman take his mantle. Uh, then there was uh, <laughs> the most insulting way possible, by the way. Then there was the Spider-Man comic where they, which wasn't actually off. They they wrote a future Spider-Man as a black guy, which which was fine. That was okay. But uh, but it's a, it's still a part of a trend. And uh, there spider was Spider Black, Spider Black. Oh uh, yeah, Squirrel Girl. Um. Uh, there. Uh, which one was the one with the feckin' unsolicited opinions about Israel? Because, fuck! That was Angela. Angela, Angela yeah. Angela, by the way, was originally a... Originally, the character was owned by Image Comic. She was basically this badass 90s anti-hero. Then, as 90s anti-heroes went out of fashion, she <laughs> kinda, you know, uh, faded out. And then Image Comic sold her to Marvel. And the rest is history. But you, you forgot about the new superheroes. So, like <clears throat> Faith. Oh! She, she's, a, she's a superhero, and her special power is that she's fat. She's oh, yeah, yeah. No, I, I remember this now. Also, there's one comic about oh, three said. hipster girls. Oh. And that's it. That that's the entire comic. Fair, oh, they... and they retired Iron Man and replaced him with 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 a black a, a young black girl. And she's still called Iron Man, by the way. Obviously, because gender is a social construct. Mm -hmm. Obviously, it doesn't oh, matter what they time. assign you at birth. Oh, and by the way, they changed the longtime supervillain Modoc mm -hmm. to look like Donald Trump. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Well, they're gonna have a lot, lot more fun in the coming years. That's for sure. It's gonna be, you know, the Bush era all over again. Jeez. So uh, yeah, at least we have that going for only us. Only while Bush started a war, it seems like Trump might prevent a war. Well, it, it's to be seen how, you know. Yeah, it, it's just, it's still to be how seen. How war averse he is, and I do do hope that these. He really does push for that, you know, isolist. Ah, uh, so Caesar, they noticed that their comics weren't selling, so they changed Iron Man back to Iron Man. Yeah. Yeah, that, <laughs> that's probably that's probably a good. It's almost like like money. Though I I I think you shouldn't overdo it to the point where you, you know the United States isn't going to do anything at all at this point. Because, but yeah, they're they're not going to. What are what are you talking about now? The the U.S. foreign policy and that they might not be as involved in role military operations as they are right now. They they've been trying to pull out of that for a while, but they did. They, well, they're just leaving so much havoc in their wake. I think there's a kind of guilt of conscience that's stopping them from completely abandoning world affairs because well. Also, right now, they fucked um, everything up and now they have to deal with it and they don't want to. 
Oh, and also that little thing, the uh, the, the military industrial complex, just a little bit. Yeah, and, and the whole <laughs> Hil Hillary I arming half of the Middle East, you know. Mm. So, yeah. To, th this shit is not going to end anytime soon. Uh, and Russia seems to be the only people who are actually stepping in and doing anything about it. Why Hillary wanted to stop them? Well, that is probably uh, kind of uh, in their own interest. Because... Of course it is, because mm. the Middle East is the biggest supplier of oil to everybody. Mm -hmm. Huh. And Russia wants in on that sweet, sweet Middle Eastern oil. And well, also no, China. They, no, they, also it's not they, it's not they, they want they, they, they want to have stable prices from a stable country that's not stably murdering yeah. its own population with well, insane people and insane mm -hmm. politics and religious mandated heart sherry killings of throwing yes. everyone off yes. fucking buildings because they disagree with you slightly. Or they are gay. Whichever comes first. Uh, also, there's there's the there's the little detail of you know the legitimate government of Syria having all those agreements and pacts with Russia. So if Russia did not come to help, it'd be like Russia. What the fuck? Then 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 the president gets shot and Russia is perceived as weak. Like uh, when I was, when I was browsing the news earlier, trying to find something interesting to talk about, I noticed that the, uh, apparently ISIS just might be hoarding chemical weapons. Like no. Yeah. Right. Huh. Chemical weapons in Syria? Mm. I know. Always Never heard it before. Although I, I find that I, I've always find that funny. Like since World War One, chemical weapons haven't been all that effective. They're 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 like an area control, area yeah. denial thing in trench warfare, but other than that, like people found all, out all, that all, if you piss on a rag you survive it. I mean chemical weapons hurt a lot. Like, oh, they do. Uh, they're not fatal, is the thing. They, they uh, stink, they, they burn. They just uh, look and... like Deadpool for the rest of your life, but you're uh, Did you... Uh, actually, some of that stuff can freaking melt your lungs. No, it has been super high concentrations to do that, and when you're trying to air it, gas... It, which is how they do it's it. It's almost... No, you, you, it's really hard to do that. It's really hard to get that kind of saturation in the air. You need Unless to... you use napalm. I think if you breathe napalm, your lungs are going to melt. That's because it's on fire. <laughs> you know what was considered a war crime in First World War? Same towers? A shotgun. Oh. Why? Because it turns out, uh, when first the war started and they found out that machine guns are actually wicked good at killing large droves of people, and they start digging trenches, uh, they used maces as a close-up weapon for clearing out the trenches. And then they found out that if they t take a 200-year-old metal tube and put the uh, assorted uh, metal crap in it, it's even more effective at cle clearing out trenches at close range. Of course, the, the person doesn't die immediately. They just, you know, sort of wallow around in their guts, and the guts are everywhere. And oh god, the guts are on me. Yeah, and then, also, then someone in the is... someone in chat just pointed out that yes, Syria is Russia's ally. That also has a little bit to do with, you know. Yes, I, I said well, that. Yeah, that too. Anyway, then the officers said that you know that's not very good for morale. Also, the people suffer. Let's just <coughs> ban this. And then so, they banned this, but shotgun so, survived. You know, you know, actually, you know what made comeback in First World War also, aside from shotguns and maces? Mm. Grenades. Grenades. Grenades are pretty effective, yeah. Yeah, they, they, they weren't widely used since the Napoleon, Na, uh, Napoleonic Wars. And they made comeback in the First World War, and they stayed. Also um, heard uh, that shovels were very popular in May. Oh yeah, obviously. It, it's it's a rigid thing, you can smack somebody across the face. Well you you just dug a fucking trench, you have like twenty <laughs> shovels lying around. <laughs> not, not to mention not only smacking, but you could also sharpen the shovel. Yeah, and then you decapitate yeah. them. That's fun. And it was yeah. very good at basically cleaving through everything in your path. It, it, it's awfully strange how effective most modern tools for construction and destruction are at, you know, destroying the human body. I, 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 can't, I can't imagine what would happen if uh, modern war happened and all, all these cordless drills were just hanging around. 
actually, when I think of when you think about it, all the original weapons, like way back in the Stone Age, the ones that weren't well, not necessarily stone. Well, back in the Stone Age, they were mostly stones. I say Bronze Age. Basically, the stuff. A lot of the weapons that weren't already based on hunting equipment were farming equipment, like the mace that was basically from a hole. Yeah. When you think about it, you, you know what I was the you know what was fun magical. about, uh, not Bronze Age actually, uh, around Bronze Age. You know what was fun, that when they had a battle and somebody had an armor made. Of something slightly better or slightly better, better bronze, um, the swords kind of bent. <laughs> then yeah, they had, could they had to run away, uh, straight into a sword again, and, and back to battle. They did actually some archaeological research of Bronze Age battlefields and found out that the majority of the bodies were not stabbed or slashed to death. But beaten to death with blunt objects. Exactly, which because was, <laughs> yeah, which was because the bronze weapons basically got duller the longer you fought, and yep. in the end you were left with a simple metallic club, and you had to beat your opponent to death with it. Yeah, exactly. Like you stab a guy, your sword is bent. You straighten the sword, stab another guy, the sword is bent again. <laughs> Over yeah, time, you, you just get fed up and, and start clubbing them. And then we invented steel, and everyone was like, "Fuck, this is way too effective." Huh. Fug. Yeah. Fuck. <laughs> and then pretty quickly after, we invented steel armor, and then it was like, "Well, this has basically stopped swords from being useful." And then hammers with spiky bits happened, and then people <laughs> were like, "Oh, our armor's useless now." And then bullets well, happened, they made, they made, and then people they... were like, "Well, fuck." <laughs> You forgot oh. the part when they made bows, and then they made crossbows, and then they were like, oh shit, this is too easy to use, let's ban it. And then Pope declared crossbows a heresy. It didn't help him. Yeah, I, I, I skipped bows straight to bullets, yeah. you know. They're crossbows, were then, crossbows were then replaced by guns, indeed. You know, uh, and now we're going, we're going back actually to the big plated armor, and and you've got people walking around in in composite armor suits that can just walk into a building, and take a barrage of machine gun fire, and be like, "I'm fine," and then someone goes and gets an assault rifle, and is like, "I'm not fine anymore. Go away. Stop shooting me, please. I'm dead." Yeah, now. well, it, it's it's kind of in fighting in close quarters, because the modern guns are huge. It's actually done with a knife. Like if you're if you're trained for fighting inside a building, for example, then you get to uh, know your knife really well. Also, they are not training. Well, they some armies. I think the American one actually are not training bayonet fight as a mandatory part of their curriculum. Not sure why. Most guns don't actually have bayonet holders anymore. Well, you can put your knife on, on the gun, but it's kind of cumbersome. Getting nice, close and personal with a knife is better than, you know, waving your gun around like a spear. Because it's not a spear. Spear have range. Exactly. Maybe if you made a gun, that should be nice. A shooting gun catapult, for example. By the way, you, you know what? When have, when the last registered kill with a bow happened? Yesterday? No, it was... Well, I mean the official boss, not the boss. You know, just kind of happened. Uh, it was in the Second World War. There was a guy... He was he was a Englishman, except he was Scott and were, was born in India. And he was an officer. And in the Second World War, he went to battle with a Scottish sword a bow and arrows, and a bagpipes. No, no, that guy is awesome, and I made P. Good, Good job. job. Well, well, while he's having P, maybe we should touch up on one subject before we call it a day. Okay, cause... you, know, you know how I was talking the last week about the deciding that everybody should experience, I hate the word, their games at the same time, and thus 
cancelled review copies until the day before the release, right? Uh-huh. Oh, the first game to be released after they did that sucks balls. Oh no. This done apps too. Apparently even on well, mode systems like, you know, GTX 1970, which is not made, but whatever. It fluctuates in the most wild way you can imagine. Even if you don't have it on max, it goes like from 30 FPS to 60. If you look at a, at a specific side of the map, it drops to 10. Yeah, good, good going, Bethesda. Good, good job. Much good job. Also, apparently, Cartoon Network is uh, churning out a bunch of pretty interesting uh, uh, pilots. Yeah, uh, pilots. I'm going to guess Loud House 2. No, no, that's Nickelodeon. Surprisingly, <laughs> wait, they they are making some Loud House copy on Nickelodeon. Um, like no. <laughs> That that would be and awful he if they fell did. For it. Wow! It, it was a joke. Serious, serious for a moment. That's I, the joke. Are you okay? <laughs> Anyways, uh, of of the 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 um, pirates I've seen so far, the the Infinity Train one was pretty interesting. Then that, there that was needs the, more. the Mexican one mm-hmm. with Mex- the that can see ghosts. A Mexican cartel standoff. Mexican one, like Mucha Lucha. Uh, me- Mexican uh, Gravity Falls. <laughs> that's yeah. racist, Astra. And then and there's a show are... about some dude that that's like on an island and it's about fruit. It's basically One Piece but Western, I guess. Yeah. Well, tech, it, it's all. It's kind of like if you mixed One Piece with Dragon Ball, not Dragon Ball Z, but the super original Dragon it, Ball. It's, it's even kind of as, seems to um, derive it's... its music. Choices from there. It does have the vibe to it. About it. Why <laughs> would you mix anything with One Piece? Why? Well, because people like One Piece, even though but it's going those, on forever. But those people are retards. Yeah, but they are. But they are paying retards. Hmm? That's the and worst kind of retard. Yeah, don't. Don't get in the way. They they keep the economy going. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> the economy of animes. Mm-hmm. Just Honestly, remember, as it, long as people are paying stupid amounts of money to keep One Piece going, that company that makes One Piece can also make other things. Exactly. Are they making other things? They make fairy tale. Okay. I, I've seen. Uh, I I never watched it, and I heard, but I heard it sucks. Do but they it, do they make something of value? From they what I've animes, seen, so no. From, from what I've seen, it's it's pretty exactly. mediocre. I've I've seen two episodes of it, and the uh, downside was that it, since it wasn't Crunchyroll, they were like, "Hey, do you want to watch this anime?" I was like, "Fuck no. yeah!" And then they were like, "Yeah, you can start watching it at one episode one hundred fifty." Like, what what happened to the first one hundred fifty episodes? Yeah, we don't have them. Oh. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, go, go buy the the the, the DVD bl- box sets. I like. Wait, Crunchyroll so, don't archive the old episodes, really? Apparently, they don't, or at least for that particular series. So I was like, then what the hell am I paying for? That's why you well, can watch the this new episode, where, where the Crunchyroll subs actually come from, have all of them. Yes. Speaking so, of which, the fourth. Uh, the part four of Jojo's Bizarre Adventure is nearing an end. Well, I think it will end b- by the by the end of the month. Mu- this it month, will end soon. The part four will end, and we are going to part five. And and part five of Jojo's Bizarre Adventure is the most fabulous one so far. <laughs> Well done. It's episode awesome. 33, and animes and usually go to 36 episodes a season. So yeah, that, that sounds about right. Mm-hmm. But anyway, ha- how oh, fabulous yeah. can a JoJo get that's more fabulous than JoJo's have already been? Because they're pretty fabulous. Should I link you an image? I'm not sure you can handle the fabulous. 
don't know. You want to try? Anyways, oh. we've been going for solid one and a half hours by now. Yeah, that's too many hours. Cancel it. Yeah. This is the end of the, the entire series. Bye. Yes, yes, exactly. Good night. Exactly. So, Good forever. so, so, like, subscribe, dislike, unsubscribe, and then uh, subscribe and like it again. Yeah, you know, do, do those yeah. things. Universe, life, and everything. Do, do do those things for an hour straight so that the YouTube <laughs> yes. algorithm will think we're we're super controversial and then you know we will oh, get all the internet cool. monies. Yeah. I'll, well, I'll just, just be sitting at uh, sitting here and then I'll get one trillion internet dollars and like sweet where I can exchange these for goods and services and like never. You can't, but it's about two bitcoins. Exactly. <laughs> no, well, if no. I'd, I'd like to have two bitcoins. Those fuckers are worth like 700 euros or Jeez. whatever currency you want it to be. Let's just go back in time. You need a bunch of uh, GPS. Arjun, we all know you're no, rich. No, 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 you can borrow some of my brother's one. I'm sure there's some kicking but around. But boy, I'd be right? even more rich. And then I can actually, <laughs> then I can just go and buy the United States because by that time, Donald Trump is just going to put it up for sale. It's like... I'm, I'm a great business guy, you know. I'm a great business guy. I'm going to sell the United States. It's gonna be awesome. And then come, I come along, say, "Well, how about seven hundred quid? You selling well, the US for seven hundred quid?" It's like, "Yeah, sure. Here, here's the key to the United States. They keep her in one place." And then like, well, yeah, he also said he's gonna create more jobs, so he'll probably create an entire belt of sweatshops across the <laughs> middle of the country. And it will no longer be the Bible Belt, it will be the Sweat Belt. <laughs> Better than nothing. Oh god, it would, it would be Mad hilarious Mad. but terrifying at the same time. But then again, it would bring jobs to Murka, I guess. Uh, that is Murka. one of his big campaign promises that he won on. Other than the not being a racist and homophobe and I... you know, the, the, the pushback against the everything that people said. Hmm. Anyway, th this has been an episode that was inevitably about the American selection, the election selection. The natural selection, yes. The natural selection of the election of the United States' election. Of the God Emperor. Yes. So, yeah. Of America. So, yeah, I guess, I guess next time. week it'll What's be. Um, Does it have a vagina? Yes. We cast his vagina. Yes, vote for it. Yes. Do it now. Just do it. Well, it, no. okay, here's what you do. I want you to, to watch this. I want you guys to all go and, and vote Bernie Sanders. D do it now, even though the election's already over. But, you know, just give him a, just give him a petty like vote. Just give him a petty, petty vote, okay? Do it, do it now. <laughs> do it now. Bye.